I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Jana Peel, CEO of Intelligence Squared. Tell me, have the arts featured on this year's agenda at Davos? Well, they've certainly featured very high on my agenda. Mm -hmm. I've had the privilege of leading two discussions with artists who have been very celebrated here. Mm -hmm. Shira Neshat, who picked up the Crystal Award and Oliver Eliasson. It was part of a broad series called Inside the Creative Mind. And I think that this year's cultural series certainly has been the most successful one to date. Tell me a little bit about any kind of insights that you got from either of them. What was something that was surprising about what they said? Well, I think what was most surprising is just the tremendous amount of demand that there was for the cultural series. Mm -hmm. I think this year so many people who wanted to see great cultural leaders like Martin Roth, like James Kuno, weren't even able to fit inside the room. We had a wonderful cultural leaders dinner yesterday, which was very well attended. And I think what's coming out is some really interesting developments in how museums are servicing their increasingly broad audiences. So I had Martin Roth in here from the V&A and he was amazing. He was really interesting. He said, what I really think now is we need to be figuring out how museums can talk better to each other, how they can share collections. And I know that that's something that you know about. What would you say to add to that discussion? Absolutely. For 10 years now, first as founder of Outset Contemporary Art Fund with Candida Gertler, and increasingly in my advisory role to museums, I'm just seeing how museums deal with their multiple constituencies. The V&A, for example, is bringing our debates into mm -hmm. the museum, which is just a terrific way. Oh, that's fun. It's great fun. And we're debating the ethics of fashion. Mm -hmm. We're debating all kinds of things that are seen inside the museum, but then also go to very broad audiences. So, in conclusion, I think it's really technology that is servicing these new audiences and relationships we're seeing between Khan Academy and Tate, mm -hmm. Khan and MoMA, all kinds of education that puts the A into STEM, I think is really putting an uh, important message on the role that arts can play in our society. So do you think that that's the best way to do it, is to kind of interact with your mobile device as you go into a museum? What's the kind of dream that you'd like to see coming through in museums with technology? I think I'd love to see the democratization of the people and props within museums so that they can really service uh, their students who might never have the privilege of actually walking inside the building. So I think what we're seeing now, like in any industry really, is the ability to bring the content to the people where they want to consume it the most. Yona, thanks for stopping into the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Thank you. Thank you.